Hey, I'm Bonnie Studdard. I'm a missionary with GFA, having my cup of coffee in England. And Randall and I have been missionaries with GFA since 1990, so I won't tell you how old I am, but we have been missionaries for a while. I wanted to tell you about my call to missions and how God led me here. Well, when I was nine, I was saved, and when I was 10, I heard a missionary speaker from Mexico. I was from Arizona. It's probably the only missionary speaker I heard while I was in Arizona, this small church. And as she described what she was doing in Mexico, I thought, I could do that. I wonder if God wants me to be a missionary. And so when they asked for volunteers, I went forward. I was 10. As the years went by, God kept reminding me that maybe God wants me to be a missionary. My course to missions wasn't without ups and downs. When I went to university and uh, I decided to be a nurse, I thought that would be useful on the mission field. But my testimony was so poor that when I told my fellow students that I was going to be a missionary, they all laughed at me and they had cause to. The Lord faithfully uh, kept reminding me about that. Well, when I got out of nursing school and got a good job, car and apartment, I thought it was enough to serve in your local church. I kind of forgot in the back of my mind. It was still there, but I thought, I'm serving in my local church. I'm really doing all I can, and I was very busy. Well, one Sunday, the lesson was on the rich young ruler. The Lord just smote my heart when I read those words when the rich young ruler said, I've done all that. What else do I need to do? And Jesus says, sell all that you have and come follow me. I just felt like I was in that position. I had, I was very comfortable. I had a good job. The Lord said, don't you remember back there that I called you to be a missionary? I thought, I don't want to make the choice that that rich young ruler made. He went away and it made the Lord sad that he went away. And uh, we never heard about that rich young ruler again. He made the wrong choice. I didn't want to end up like him. I didn't want to make the wrong choice. So that evening, I recommitted my call to missions. And the next morning, I um, wrote three mission boards and said, I want to serve on the foreign field. I don't know where I'm going to go or what I'm going to do, but I want to serve on a foreign field. And only one mission board wrote back. And I ended up going with that mission board to Suriname, South America as a single girl. I didn't make a survey trip. In those days, it wasn't required or done. And I just trusted that God had called me and I was going. The night before I left, I was terrified. I had never been there. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I was gonna be a nurse in a bush station back in the jungles of South America. But there was no turning back. I had sold all that I had. I'd sold my car. I'd gotten rid of all my possessions and I was going to Suriname. This was a great leap of faith for me. I can say after many years of serving the Lord and making more leaps of faith, God has never failed me. When the Lord had some followers and many of them left him and the Lord asked the disciples, he said, will you also go away? And Peter said, good old Peter, he said, Lord, where would we go? You have the words of life. And I felt this is kind of sums up my call to missions. What else would I do? God called me to this, and it has been and is a very uh, good life and one in which God has taught me much and has um, no regrets.